Hey y'all, so today is Friday, the 12th. Uh, Texas is supposed to be getting some cold ice and snow on Sunday. Sunday night. Oh my goodness, it's cold out here. Um, <laughs> Texas is supposed to be getting some ice and cold weather. You know how Texas people act when it's some bad weather. So I'm about to run to the store really quick and pick up a couple things. It's 12 o'clock. Actually, no, it's 1 o'clock. I looked before I left out. It's 1 o'clock, so hopefully I beat this crowd. Up. I'm probably about to go to Kroger. Ma'am, what are you doing? Come on! Come on, jump in front of me. Um, and you got a stop sign. I'm probably about to go to Kroger. Y'all, these people are parking all the way back there. This is why I don't like coming to H-E-B. It's like people... From sun up to sun down, it's packed. That's okay. <laughs> I'm about to go to Kroger. That is okay. Yeah, we we, we just gonna go to Kroger. We're gonna go to Kroger. Y'all, this is this is ridiculous. They parking all the way in the back. People don't ever park back there. And people just like driving crazy in the parking lot. This is how Texas people react. This is how they react when it's literally gonna be, they said it's gonna be eight degrees, but okay, so what? They don't stop you from leaving your house. But I don't know. Like, it's like people, everybody's reacting the exact same way. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This person right here parked on the dirt. Them too, cause they want no parking spots. This, nah, baby, we about to go to Crow. <laughs> We about to go to Kroger. Okay, Kroger is not as crazy, but it's still a lot of people here because people don't normally park this far back, especially not at this Kroger. So we're gonna find us a parking spot and we're gonna go in, get this stuff. I might just do a quick look montage for y'all. I might not even pull y'all out. Ma'am, can you please get on your side of the road? <laughs> I might just do a quick little montage. I don't know, depending on how chaotic it is in there. Like, look at this, look at her. And I'm going the right way. Gosh. Y'all see how peaceful it is in here? I'll take this over HEB. <laughs> Y'all, that dang on there. Out of everything. Like, where are all the freaking onions at? Okay. So we're gonna grab. You know, I want that one. Oh, I'll get a sweet onion. Yeah. This one looks fine. I just need a small one. Yeah, I'll just get this one. So I got some turkey, ground turkey, some cheese, sour cream for the um, chocolate soup. Oh, look at that. Fritos right there. I was going to get a small bag because I know Chris going to want regular. So I'm just getting scoops for me. I'll get him the regular tortillas. I think I want to get some turkey um, pepperonis too. They usually be on this aisle. Let me see. Let's see. Because we usually get cheese pizza and just put turkey pepperoni on it. This is regular pepperoni. They usually be down here. Maybe they're down there. Let me see. So y'all, they have all the pepperonis, but they're not turkey. They usually have turkey. Even the ones on the doors is pork. Oh well. Just gonna have to eat cheese pizza. Okay, so I got some bread, um, some pasta sauce, because I thought I could make some spaghetti with some garlic bread. Why not? And then the pizza. I got some more pizzas under there. The Tony's. Now I need some taco seasoning. Mm, right here. And then I need a ranch packet. Like the ranch seasoning packet? Oh, it's down there. See, everything is just falling right here in my little app. Yes. And now we gotta go down the alley and get the um, beans and stuff. Okay, so I need some southern style corn that I'm not seeing. I see fiesta corn. Is that the same thing? 
because I usually use sweet corn, but I saw a recipe where they use Southern style. So we're gonna do this Fiesta corn. No, we're not, because that has vegetables in it. We're just gonna stick to what we know. <laughs> and get the regular sweet corn, no salt added, boom. I'm gonna get some ranch style beans. I got so many different type of tomato base. That sauce. We just gonna get that one up there. All right, so I got the tortilla chips. That's all I need, but I am about to loop back around and get some bread for the um, spaghetti. Like maybe some garlic bread or something. Okay, y'all, I changed my mind and I added something. So I'm gonna also make some chicken noodle soup. Um, but I'm gonna go get the red lobster rolls they come in the pack i'm gonna do that see this is the issue with Kroger. they don't have all selections of chicken because what am i supposed to do with this where the chicken wings at like i don't want this big old pack of chicken wings Ugh. it's always something so they have this pack of chicken drumsticks in the this is the last one. I don't know how I feel about this. What's wrong with it? Why don't nobody want it? I think I'm gonna just get it. It's only $8. And this is what I need. I don't need that many. I'm gonna just get this one. Never mind, y'all. It was in the wrong section. So I'm gonna put them back and I'm gonna get these. Yeah. back home i unpacked all this stuff i'm about to put this stuff up but i want to show y'all what i got i didn't show y'all everything because it started to get crowded in there and i'm glad i went when i did because i guess everybody had the same idea to oh let's go to kroger but anyway so i got some bread y'all saw that i got the uh chips for the taco soup i got some egg noodles because i'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup tonight uh, i'll make the taco soup probably sunday night or monday night whenever we get tired of eating on this this one i'm gonna make it got some spaghetti because i'm gonna make some uh spaghetti one day with some meatballs i don't know i like i like meatballs with my spaghetti now and not chopped up uh, ground beef i got some southern cornbread the honey one is good but this one goes best with chicken noodle soup that's what i like and that's what i'm gonna eat um Red lobster biscuits, I got this to go with the spaghetti because we're just going to do spaghetti and red lobster biscuits. Got some pizzas. Got uh, These taste different than these. So, yeah. <laughs> got this for like if we want to just have our own single pizza. Got this for when like we want to do pizza one night. Uh, these are for the taco soup, taco seasoning, ranch seasoning packet. This is for my chicken noodle soup and taco soup. So, we got some ranch style beans. Y'all saw that. Corn. Rotel, black beans, tomato paste, um, cream of chicken. Yes, we do off brand up in here because maybe groceries are high. We're gonna do what we can do. Um, if y'all wanna do name brand, that's what that's on y'all, but it all tastes the same. Um, got some cream of chicken for the chicken noodle soup. I got some onions for the chicken noodle soup and the taco soup. Yes, I got a carrot. I just want one because we, you know, want a little bit of vegetables, but. Not too much, just a little color. I usually put um, carrots and celery in my chicken noodle soup, but I, I, I ain't got time for all that. Like, I'm gonna just chop up the, car the carrots because Chris don't really care for it anyway, so whatever. Um, got some heavy whipping cream, beef broth, chicken broth, 
um, spaghetti sauce, got some cheese. Now this is one thing that I cannot go off brand on. I have to have my Sargento cheese. Like I cannot, with my baked macaroni, when I put it on tacos, anything that I use shredded cheese for, it has to be Sargento. It just melts so well. Um, got some sour cream, got some turkey ground beef for the taco soup, and then the chicken wings for the chicken noodle soup. So I'm about to put all of this stuff up, which is not even a lot. And y'all already know this, this cost an arm and a leg just for this stuff. And I'll probably pick y'all back up when I start cooking the um, chicken noodle soup. Okay, so Alexa, pause. Okay, y'all, so I have my chicken drumsticks in here. Um, we're about to cook up this chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna use this pot to put everything in, but I want to boil my chicken separate. So I put, hold on, let me show y'all. It's sizzling. I put three chicken bouillon cubes in here just to give it a little flavor because we are going to use some of this water in our actual chicken noodle soup. So I'm about to go ahead and cut up the carrots and then I'm gonna put my cornbread in the oven. It's pretty early. I don't want to eat right now. I'm just cooking it now. So I ain't got to do it later. That makes sense? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and put this, uh, cut up these carrots real quick. All right, y'all. So I moved my chicken over there. And I want to saute my vegetables just a little bit before I put it in the like soup with the noodles and stuff. They're going to get soft with that, but I want to saute them a little bit. And then I got my cornbread over here. And we're about to put that in the oven. Okay, so I put the noodles in here. I put the um, water that was in the chicken in here. It was literally maybe like a cup. No, nope, like two cups. And then I poured the rest chicken broth in here. And it's the no salt chicken broth because we're gonna season the soup. But I'm gonna let these like cook a little bit and get soft. And then we're gonna go behind it and put our uh, cream of chicken in there. And I only put half a bag. Okay, y'all, so it's pretty much done. This is what it looks like. Very creamy. I love creamy soups. Got the chicken in there, the egg noodles, onions, and carrots. But I still haven't seasoned it. So I'm gonna season it with this um, buttery steakhouse seasoning. Y'all, this makes it pop. This and some garlic and herb seasoning. So I'm gonna season this with this. I haven't seasoned it at all, so, and uh-oh, uh and I just wiped down. And I'm gonna keep seasoning until my ancestors tell me to stop. This is how we do it. And then there's the cornbread. So yeah, y'all, this is dinner for the next couple days while we snowed in. I hope it snow. Hey, y'all. It's two days later. We are on the way to watch the Cowboys playoff game. So we're about to go to this place called Goats Arena. Get a couple drinks, watch the football game. It's 17 degrees out here. I thought it was north. It's, it's straight down Main Street. Huh? It's straight down Main. It says it's on FM 43. Yeah, I thought it was going north. Like, go up the toll. Oh. The Ooh. I got water bottles and stuff in my car that you were supposed to get out. Ah! It's gonna fall. Okay, y'all, so we had to come to, if y'all can see, that's the mock field. We had to come over here to the star because the place we went to, they were uh, packed to the rim. So she got us a table. It'll be like a 10 minute wait. So we're gonna go in here. Okay, y'all, it's kind of loud in here. I don't know if you can hear me, but she gave me the ticket. Uh, Chris is parking right now. And this is what it looks like downstairs. We're gonna be upstairs. I don't know what it looks like upstairs. I've never been up there, so we'll see. Okay, y'all, so we got a seat right by the window. Perfect. This is actually where we had our Christmas party at for my last job. They got us in like this little party room, but uh, the bar is right out there. They got TVs right here. They got a big TV right here. And this is perfect. So I just ordered me an espresso martini. And what you get? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're not, we're not hungry, but I might get some just to nibble on. You know, like some little cheese curds or something. Okay, so I got queso. Uh oh. Y'all, hold on. Queso, my espresso martini, and Chris got a beer coming. Let's try this queso. These chips look hard. 
So Quay Walker, number seven, he plays this exactly right. They talk about the catch that my dad Chris caught, Jay Ferguson, because Okay, so I got no flavor. Maybe, maybe I grabbed the wrong thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why does it taste so bland? Mm -hmm. Alright, fast alarm. That chip was just bland. Ew, get this off of here. But this is Rex on my team. So y'all, we watching the game, right? And this guy right here, <laughs> he keeps saying Dak Prescott sucks. And then he says something about don't trust a black quarterback. And all the black people in the room say, what? <laughs> and now he's trying to argue with everybody. Y'all, they ain't about to fight. Like, they are literally about to fight. He keeps antagonizing this dude over here. I don't want to put him on the camera because I think he's looking but. He is really doing a lot right now. I think he's drunk. I see snow flurries. Yes, look at him. You see him? <laughs> we got to get home. It's about to start snowing. So basically, the Cowboys lost. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We're about to go home and finish the game pretty much, even though we know they lost. But I mean, we had a good time. Vibes or whatever. Is that me? Is that Snowflake? No, no, yeah, it's right. Oh, cool, right here. Alright, let's go home. Dang that car dirty. <laughs> like what? So we home. Chris stopped and got him some water burger. And we are at the house and we about to call it a day or a night. So oh it's warm in here. So we're gonna let y'all next video. Me and Chris about to eat this water burger. <laughs> I ain't get nothing. <laughs> I'm about to help him eat some though. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all next time. Mm -hmm.